Hi, welcome to Fallout 4. We're going to be grabbing the four, uh, three, not four, hot rod magazines for flames, uh, shark paint, and hot rod pink. There's pink, it's a bit of a time lapse photo. If you just need pink, jump ahead to 340. If you want to get shark, that's at about 230. Uh, we're going to start with flames, which is at the Atom Cat garage, and there'll be a montage at the end of some combat along with all the different colors. Um, if you want to skip ahead to that, that's at about 11 minutes, I think. Um, anyway, the first one, Flames, is here at the Atom Cats garage. I met the Atom Cats guys um, just wandering around, actually. Uh, stumbled across them, I think, near West Roxbury or something like that. One of them was just checking out a car. Came up and said, hey, dude, you should check it out. Anyway, if you're running there um, to the Atom Cats garage, it's over on the southeast of the map um, on that promontory that you saw on the map. Uh, watch out, there's a Deathclaw there. There may be some synths and a Mr. Gutsy as well. I just cut across the sea, possibly, or the water anyway, possibly not the best move, but you should be okay. And what you can do is just make a mad run for the Atom Cats garage. Um, so mark it on your map and head over there. Uh, you'll see this Mr. Gutsy, but as I keep walking backwards, I discover the Atom Cats garage here. Garage, garage. Um. Any second now, there we go, Atom Cats Garage. So if you just run inside there, the Atom Cats don't attack them, but they'll help you out. Um, and there are some dudes in power armor like Zeke and Randy and Rowdy and I don't know, some others. But they'll definitely assist in the killing. Um, so it shouldn't be too troublesome, although do watch for that Deathclaw. He caught me when I tried to kill him. He was a little above my level. But there's the Atom Cats Garage there, so the very southeast of the map. Uh, head down there, and it's just sort of on that little promontory up there heading north. Anyway, once you're there, ignore going in for the time being. It's a red rocket stop. Head straight past the entrance over this way and head to the trailer at the back here where you'll find Hot Rod Magazine number one along with Cat's Poetry Tape number one, Cat's Poetry Night, which are so awful they're worth listening to. Like The fact they bothered recording these is epic. But there it is on the local map too. If you push X on the Xbox controller, uh, that'll get you the local map on the map screen so you can see it's there in the trailer. So grab that. Um, I'll cover this area in more detail in another video, but it's worth mentioning there's a bobblehead here too if you want that. If you don't want to know where that is, um, uh, skip ahead now. No uh, if you do, it's here, on the front of this uh, truck, on the front of this car. Um, the in the pit, there we are, it's the unarmed bobblehead, so don't miss that. From there, uh, there it is again, the Atom Cats Garage. From there we're going to head all the way back towards Sanctuary for the shark paint. And you can grab this one super early on very, very easily. It's just east of Sanctuary. Uh, it's about there at the end of that road. Um, it's called the Robotics Disposal Ground. If you've uncovered Thicket Excavations or that UASF, USAF satellite tower, I think, um, it's a short run from there too, but Sanctuary is not a bad shout to get there. If you go from Ticket Excavations, just follow the road up here like this. Um, you can't really miss it. As soon as you get to the end of the road, you'll come across the Robotics Disposal Ground. 3, 2, 1 here. And if you just don't want to see the details, I completely understand, right? A lot of the time it's fun in this game just working it out for yourself. Uh, so, um, now you know roughly where it is. You can play around, watch out for that sentry bot. You can activate him. Um, by accessing the uh, computer in here. You can also take the holotape if you want and do it from your pit point whenever you want. But sentry bots early on are a properly terrifying fight, so be careful. Um, there's a tape there, you can just eject it by pushing uh, the reload button. Anyway, that was the shark paint. Yay, shark! Now we're going to grab the pink uh, paint, the hot rod pink. So head all the way down to the southeast of the map, look for Spectacle Island, which is that island out on the right there. Uh, on the left, on the right, on the right, sorry, on the east. And then head directly west. You'll come across Jamaica Plains if you've uncovered that already. And then Milton General Hospital, Fallon's Department Store, Shaw High School, and West Roxbury Station. That's the cluster you're looking for. You want to travel to the medical center um, here. And immediately where you zoom in, there's the medical center there. Behind you, you'll see a door there with some arrows and a light on it, that's the door you want to head through. But that's Fallon's over there as a point of reference, and Roxbury is just around to the left a little bit more. Uh, but you'll see the car on the roof as well. That's a short giveaway. Uh, short, see, short elementary. Yeah, I give up. Anyway, head in here. Uh, again, I've bought Power Armor. I've got an awful light on it, so I'm going to flip saves in a minute and get that. We're going to explore in detail rather than just rushing the objective, because there's a lot of goodies on the way. Whiskey, um, and then around here there's a bit of a dead end. There. Um, and then through here, watch out for the tripwire on the floor. I completely miss it, but we'll come back and grab it in a second. But there's a tripwire on here with some glowing rad roaches and other rad roaches, plus uh, an explosive box and um, 
some uh, Radaway, maybe? Uh, but it's quite often that one's a legendary, so it's worth killing those guys. Um, you can see there the tripwire that I've just walked over. I think McCready set it off that time. Um, but heading up this way, uh, you'll come around to some arrows. Follow those around, you'll get to this mannequin area. Around to the left, there's nothing just behind there, some tires. And straight through here, see, oh, sorry, I came back again because I missed this room. It's actually worth going here, even though there's a lot of radiation, you're going to get three or four Radaways plus um, an assortment of drugs. Uh, what is it? One, two, um, yeah, and then there's the third one there. So one will cover the radiation that you pick up collecting those, and the other two will be useful elsewhere. There's also some glowing fungus, which is never a bad thing to have. I forget what it's used in, but it's one of those useful things, berry mantats or something. Anyway, around here you're going to see four doors and three buttons. Um, the first button opens doors one and two, the second button opens doors two and three, and the third button opens doors three and four. You just need to push buttons one and three, and that will open doors one and two, and three and four. Remember that we didn't push button two. Um, that's going to be important-ish later. Anyway, go through there. Uh, straight ahead there's a bunch of dead ends, um, so don't worry too much about those. Take a right round here. Uh, more dead ends there. Come around this way. Now, when you get here to the left with these heads on a spike, you can go a couple of ways. Left is the way that you want to go, but we're going to go around to the right first, or not straight on, and then around to the right here. Bring a weapon. Um, there's going to be a machine gun turret through here, but again, you know, if you want to skip ahead and just explore this place for yourself, it's actually pretty easy to find the hot rod magazine once you're in. It's kind of fun to all the surprises in here. I've also missed another tripwire or two, I think, um, but we'll go back and cover those. Anyway, from there, take a left, and you'll come through here to a scary room full of monkeys. Oh, monkeys! There's some brain fungus on the wall. Um, you can shoot those; they ruin your stealth. I uh, shoot him in the head, but it's okay. There's some more Radaway there, or weapon perhaps, in that small toolbox as well. And then come around to the left, and you'll come here. You'll see this tripwire here. Um, right, I'm just going to double back the tripwires. There's another one there that you want to be careful of, um, just as you come around to that area. And then back here by the Rad Roaches was the one we missed earlier. Sorry about that. Um, so be careful of those. I've got Ninja, or whatever it is. Um, that allows me to walk over traps without any problem, which is why I occasionally miss them. I really need to do this with a save or I don't and suffer the penalties. Anyway, disarm all of these. You might need to crouch to get the angle on them, but you're going to get like a lot of, what are we picking up here? Copper and stuff, I think. Um, yeah. And then you can grab all these frag grenades, which were attached to the mines. I kind of want to come back and set that off at some point. There's one more over here on the left. If you've come with a jetpack power armor, and you might want to do that generally when you're exploring, it's a really good idea. You can jump up there as a shortcut to where we're about, where they're about, where we're about to go next. Anyway, there is a trip mine there and there, so get those. They're connected to a missile launcher all the way down here, so you can grab the missile launcher after you've emptied that box. There we are. Uh, and you might want to give it to McCready. Up to you. Uh, they're quite heavy. Then from around there, come around this way and stick to the right-hand wall as much as you can. Ignore that arrow for the time being and come around here to the left. And that's where we could have jumped up with the jetpack earlier. There's just some uh, health and rad away there. Then come back this way. And when you get to this arrow pointing to the left, now over to the right there is a trip wire. Uh, and it's connected to a grenade bouquet just up there on the left. Um, we're about to turn around and see that. But there's nothing else in here. So grab that grenade and then come through here. Take a left and follow. Stick to the right wall. Come around again and up here. And we're on to the next level. Don't forget to quick save because uh, we're going to have a fight here against quite a lot of ghouls. Um, so be careful there. Come around to the left this way. When you get to that ruined car, basically whichever way you go, you'll end up at that ruined car. Careful when you come around here. I'm going to get the railway gun out just because I hadn't really used that yet. Um, and deal with these guys. Uh, there's a couple of bloated glowing ones, or maybe a glowing one and a bloated charred one, or I don't know, something like that. But basically there's going to be some leveled ghouls here, which, whatever your level, are going to cause a bit of a problem. Which is why it's advisable to bring the power armor, or at least a save off. Uh, Molotovs work pretty well against ghouls too, as do flamers, if you found one. Um, but deal with all those guys. Again, you see quite a lot of them. Um, railway gun, not nearly as much fun as I hoped, sadly. But, such is life. Uh, if you've got stealth going, that's probably another good way to do that if you're using Ninja with the multiplied sneak attack. The downside of that is the moment you lose your sneak uh, when you're doing Ninja, obviously you're going to take more damage. Wow. But one of those guys was a legendary, so I got not a bad weapon. Anyway, when you're done there, that was the car there that we came in past where we first saw the ghouls. Come around this way to the right, there's a little room there, but there's not much in it, so instead take a left and up these stairs, and this is pretty much the top level. 
coming around here, watch out for all these traps. Uh, there's a bunch of bathroom scales traps and a handful of trip wires, um, so be careful of those. Disarm them as needed. Again, lots of treasures. And we're also going to grab the traps they're attached to. There are some Tesla uh, traps on the roof and the walls. There's one, there's another, uh, there's another, and then there's another on the roof just up here, I think. Uh, there, yeah. But make your way through there, just keep your eyes on the floor. Make sure you don't set off any trip wires. There's an explosives box there behind another. Um, and then I think one more Tesla up here, on the roof maybe? No? No. That's it. All clear. Everyone that's a winner. Uh, through here to this cigarette machine, and there's a door that's barred. Now this leads back to Fallon's department store. You can only open it from this side. Um, it's going to, well, not exactly Fallon's, but the little um, stairwell that leads up to Fallon's roof where you can get a sneak quick in to get a quiff. If you've seen that video, it's linked at the end. Check the eye on the top right, obviously. <laughs> Uh, and then down here to the right uh, is, this is where the treasures live. Come around to the, oh no, sorry, it's not yet. Um, there's door, three doors. Now, door number one has a Tesla trap behind it. Door number three has shotgun. Remember the button that we didn't push, door number two? Yeah, well, that's the door that we need to open. Anyway, one there. I think you can run in and disarm that if you're quick, but I didn't bother. And then behind door three here on the left, uh, you got boom and boom, two shotguns. One's a combat shotgun, so if you haven't got one of those yet, it's a good place to grab one. And the other one's double barreled. Not much else in there, so head over to door number two. When you open, hey, open it, a people. mannequin will fall down. Yeah, I'm just giving this guy uh, a bunch of my stuff because I'm overweight. Annoyingly, I can carry less in my power armor than I can with deep pocketed uh, armor. Through here, uh, more trip wires, so be wary of those around to the right, not very much at all. Come around to the left, uh, watch for these bottle cap mines next to the trip wires. There you go, you can grab those two uh, makeshift bombs, or whatever they are. Uh, around to the right is where the hot rodder magazine is, but to the left we're going to go first. If you go all the way down here to the left, um, and then to the right up here, you'll find the other bar door, which leads to the uh, medical center roof, which in turn allows you to get around to Fallon's, but it just unlocks all this top area, so it's worth doing. Um, you never know when you might need to run in here for safety. Anyway, come around to the left, and back to the left, you'll find these cage doors. Quick save before this, you've got two choices. Uh, there's some. F there's a fat man, a helmet, um, some fusion cores, and some weapons on the left, and a whole bunch of healing and meds on the right. You can shoot that right-hand bottle cap mine, and you can disarm the left-hand flamer, but you can't disarm the right-hand flamer or shoot the left-hand bottle cap mine. In fact, you can't even disarm the left-hand bottle cap mine. Uh, when you get in there, even if you're quick, you can't interact with it. So I think, ultimately, you've got to pick one of these. If you quick save, you can check them both, both out and see which is going to be better for you. Um, if you, and you'll see, if you open the one on the right, uh, the flamer on the left goes up and just, oh, sorry, the bottle cap on the left goes off and detonates that room. If you open the one on the right, uh, the flamer will go off and kill everything in that room. So just push one button and then go in. Uh, so just to cover it on the left, uh, here we've got mini nuke, uh, combat armor helmet, not a bad thing, and four fusion cores. And then a steamer trunk with some ammo and an assault rifle on right leg for me, but it'll be random loot content. Uh, uh, the mine's gone off in the other room, there's stim packs and meds and medex and mentats and psycho and buff out, all those good things. Mentats, bottle caps. And then in here are uh, some bottle caps and some armor. So yeah, you decide which you need more. Um, again, you can check them both out and then reload a save if you want to save scum it. Oh, but then come around here to the right and just keep going and then to the right again and that is where the Hot Rod magazine is. In there, there's some stim packs there and there's a frag mine you may have noticed down there but there's Hot Rod on Hot Pink on the table there. There's also a Stealth Boy um, up here uh, just around in that box there so if you're all about the stealth do that. Anyway, here are all three outfits. There we are, 14 minutes as promised. There's Flames on the left, Shark in the middle and Pink on the right. Um, you can obviously mix and match them as you want with other paint schemes. There they are from the back. Um, there. Uh, and then um, here are all the pink ones, although we saw those at the beginning. My favourite is actually this. Uh, but I like to mix and match mix and match uh, pink and white. I think it's not a bad look. Um, there's the shark again, uh, mixed with military. 
And you can kind of mix flames with the railroad paint, which you can get for the T51. I don't know, it's not great. I'm, I haven't really found much you can mix the flames with that looks wonderful, except this, my red, white, and blue special. This is actually my favourite armour. Uh, but yeah, as I said, my favourite is like this pink and white mix on the um, X01. I really like the look of it. Uh, but that's it with the Gatling laser. Uh, some pretty nice shots there. This is just in, I think, Quincy Ruins, which is just an insane fight. That's with the um, Cannoneer. <laughs> Cannoneer's good. You actually want to aim for the chest because it does splash damage uh, to all the limbs if you aim for the chest. Whereas it doesn't, if you aim for the head, it only hits the torso and a little bit of the arms and doesn't hurt the legs. But uh, Body Shot, surprisingly, actually does the most damage. It's a minigun. Minigums are actually awful. Um, I haven't upped my heavy arms much, but of all the heavy weapons, they seem to do the least damage. If you've got a jetpack, you can do a power boost uh, and land there, but the boosts, even with um, legs that are powered up for vented explosion or whatever it is, don't do much damage. That's the shot we saw at the beginning, but it remains one of my favourites. There's everything to love about the mini nuke, and when you upgrade it to the experimental Merv, so much the better. Oh, uh, pro tip! <laughs> Don't use a flame up on an assault drop. It will kill you in the face. Assault drops suck so badly. I really hate them. Um, anyway, on the left, Fallon's department store, uh, if you want to get the Hornet's Nest uh, haircut, which is obviously the best haircut in the game. Um, and on the right, just something I'm playing with. Uh, it's still very much in a beta stage, but I thought I'd give you a little, um, little preview. Uh, I'm working on some lighting stuff in Sunset Drive to build up like a power armor garage with uh, various bits and pieces and it's coming along okay. Anyway, click on the I on the top right or tap if that's what you're on uh, for access to playlists and more. See you in the next video. Bye!